I was wondering, shall we sit and let's invite our, uh, our journalist on and we'll take some more questions. We take Absolutely. the middle seat. Very good. Very good. Thank you. You make life easy for me. Hi, I was, uh, Hi, thank Sarah. you. Hello. And would you be kind to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Isabella and I go to school and I go to school in a Menlo Park school and um, my assignment for journalism was to do an interview on someone and I'm going to do an interview on you guys. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm honored and I, I just want to say I know I asked you once at this time in your life what do you think you would want to be when you got older and you said you thought you might like to be a journalist and I've also known you worked on some books already and that you are a real serious nine-year-old so I am delighted if you'd ask me some questions and Alfredo I think may also help me answer them um, how long did it take you to paint the painting well I want to say for about six or seven weeks, I thought about the painting. I knew I wanted to take greenhouse gases, one of them at least, and paint it as a man-beast monster. So, because I think people identify with a monster. But I thought and thought mostly about the composition, the composition, how everything is laid out. And I wanted to focus on the ocean and, and it, greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide threat to the fish and the crabs, etc. It took me a long while to think about, well, if I have the, it come, uh, the gases coming out, make it into a man, and then go down, and then it, they could go up with, you know, that fish. Once I had that idea, you know, I, I could see the wave of the painting the viewer's mind, you know, going like this and this and this. As soon as I saw I could do that, it then took about another two months. And uh, so it, it was about six or seven weeks of thinking, but I was doing many, many other things at the same time. Good question. Um, why did you paint um, greenhouse gases as a monster? I did it. Because I feel that we relate to monsters. I mean, maybe I even get nightmares. Or when I know when I was younger, I had nightmares. And we know what monsters are. They are threatening, right? And I think more decision makers, leaders in the United States and other places, have to start thinking about carbon dioxide as a monster, as a threat to us. And so that's why I made it into a monster. And I'm going to paint another monster soon, too, another one of them. Um, what is the meaning of the painting? Like, what is the true, mes the true message that you're trying to? Well, I, this is very sophisticated now. I see thousands, millions of people around the world. Let's just say the United States. They all talk about the importance of the environment. And they talk about the threat of climate change. But then when they go to select the people who they're going to send to Congress to run this country, they forget. They tend not to vote for the people who say, I am going to protect the environment, as well as business. You can do both. And I'm going to vote for people who are going to stop greenhouse gases. They just don't vote. And it's the vote that matters most, not just saying, I want pro to see progress or I want to see. It's the vote that matters most. And so I made this painting to try to help more voters recognize that they, especially those in the fishing industries and related industry, that they're going to lose their jobs soon if they don't get people in Washington, including a president, 
who will say, we have to stop carbon dioxide emissions now. Another question? Um, why did you paint about greenhouse gases? Hmm? Why did you paint about greenhouse gases? Well, I think it's more important to, th there's not enough of focus in this world on the threat. You know, we hear climate change, and who knows what that really means at some point. I think we need to see the real threat. Okay. Um, what are you planning on painting next? I'm going to paint, make a painting where I tap into songwriting. Stephen Sondheim's Send in the Clowns. And I'm going to show carbon dioxide reaching down into the earth under the sea and opening up the cage where another gas, terrible gas, methane is in, and it's going to start letting this second gas, second monster loose. That's going to be the next one. And since the name of it is Send in the Clowns, you have the job of painting the clowns. I think we have two more questions. Can I have two more from you? Um, yeah. Um, what was your favorite part to paint? My favorite part to paint? Well, uh, I got a kick out of painting the Washington as an anchor. I got that very much. I, I also enjoyed a bit of the monster. But I am personally not very good at painting the figures and people. and That's, that's not my thing. I mostly enjoy finding a way to move the eye and the mind and back all around the painting. That's what I like doing. One more? Um, that's all. Isabella, you have been great. I would like to ask the professor a couple of questions.